So I'm trying to say it in English so that, so that everyone understands here. Um, we're, we're delighted to have uh, this Barbara Knight tonight <laughs> as, a, as a part of our lecture series. Um, we're going to be having um, uh, also in the next three weeks, three, I think three, yes, three other lectures. Um, uh, you all know about the topic, uh, and uh, uh, I hope it's going to be very useful um, for you. Uh, Barbara will talk about herself, uh, <laughs> so that I, I, I will not interfere <laughs> into that part. So, thank you for coming. Okay. Good evening. I'd rather not use the mic. Can you hear me? We win? Okay. I'm very, very happy to be here in Tbilisi working with the master's program in educational management and leadership at Ilya State University. I want to acknowledge and applaud the work that USAID and specifically the education management program and the UCLA Graduate School of Information, of Education Information Sciences working under USAID. Oh, you want me to use it? Oh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> because I don't have enough hands now to run the, well, I guess I can figure this out. Okay. Anyway, I want to thank them for their, this sounds too loud. Do you need this? No. Okay. Okay. If I start to sing, I'll need that. But uh. um, I also want to commend Ilya State University and especially Simon for their vision and courage in establishing this important master's program. I was here for five weeks last fall and found the work in education in Georgia to be very exciting, both at the university level and at the national level. The implications for change in K-12 schools are enormous. My colleagues at UCLA are excited about what you're doing and we're honored to be part of it. We look forward to a long collaborative relationship between the institutions. And as a side note, I also learned to love Georgia and Tbilisi especially, so I'm glad to be back. First, a few words, just a few words about UCLA. Um, the University of California, Los Angeles is a public research university dedicated to education, research, and service. It was founded in 1919, offers 118 undergraduate degree programs and 200 graduate degree programs. Enrollment at UCLA is over 26,500 undergraduates with 12,716 graduate students. Education issues are different in every country in the world, but there are also many similarities, many lessons that we can learn from each other. What I want to do today is share with you some of the lessons that I've gleaned from my 35 years in American education with the hope that some that my thoughts will further provoke your thinking about education in Georgia. I'm going to stop doing my comments occasionally for you to think about and react to what I'm saying. So to make that process easier to talk to your neighbor, I'd like for you to, to stop right now, turn to the person or persons beside you, greet them, even if it's somebody you came in with. This will make it easier to have a conversation with them later. When I need you to come back to my attention, I'll raise my hand. So I'd like for you now to say hello to your neighbor. <laughs> okay. Oh, what a wonderful group you are. There will be time at the end of the lecture for questions and comments for the group at large. But, so before I start, I'd like to get to know you a little bit better. Uh, would you raise your hand if you are now or have been a public school teacher? Just a few of you, public school, okay. Raise your hand if you're now a university professor or you have been. Oh, more of you, okay. And raise your hand if you're a university student. There we go. And leave your hand up if you're in education. How many of you are students of education? Okay, excellent. I know who I'm, who I'm talking to. Um, and all of you seem to be in the right room. <laughs> 
I was a teacher, coordinator, and counselor in public schools in the United States, in Iowa, Colorado, and California for many, many years, working primarily with students in grades 7 through 12. In 1993, I became a member of the school management program at UCLA. Since 1992, UCLA School Management Program has worked with over 800 schools and districts throughout California. With offices in Los Angeles and New England, UCLA SMP continues to provide leadership training and coaching programs to schools and districts looking to implement and sustain a culture of consistent universal standards-based student learning and achievement. The mission statement for my organization is stated as an open question. How can we surface the beliefs and practices that result in high achievement for all students and build on those beliefs and practices to create a school culture and educational system that ensures high achievement for every child? You may never have seen a mission statement before written as a question. And that is because our organization feels like we don't have the answer, but we have a lot of strategies and processes for helping people find the answer themselves. Our belief is that people go into teaching because they have a deep-seated belief that all students can learn at a high level. But that the system that they wind up in squelches that belief and they, they wind up making compromises and doing things that look like they don't have that belief. They sort kids out, label kids, do things that don't look like they believe that all students can learn at a high level. So our work is to go in and help them get reconnected with that deep belief and then put that into action so they, they behave as though they believe that. Um, we, don't, we don't do a lot of telling when we go to schools. We listen, we ask a lot of questions because we think people have the answers, they just need to surface them. The guiding principles which represent the philosophy and vision of my organization, oh, this, these are dark, aren't they? Can you, can you see them? Okay. And I'm sharing these with you because that's the foundation out of which I come. So you have a better idea of what, what's driving my motivation here. But as an organization, we believe that successful school renewal focuses on student learning. If it isn't about student learning, why bother with it? You're on the wrong track. Um, secondly, visionary inclusive leadership is the key to organizational transformation. For a long time, I was a teacher union leader and thought that principals and lead, school leaders were basically in the way, that they weren't really very necessary, they were bothersome more than they were helpful. As I grew older, I came to realize that a good leader, a good visionary, inclusive leader is the key to making a school work well. And so a lot of our work has been with helping principals figure out how to be more visionary and more inclusive and better serve the students and the teachers that they're working with. The third thing is a culture of data-driven inquiry supports change teaching practices in support of high student achievement. The idea that you need to be constantly looking at the data you have around you and constantly in a cycle of inquiry where you're asking questions, getting an idea, a hypothesis, trying it out, gathering the data, and then asking a new question, that cycle of inquiry. Um, 